So there's a couple of different ways you can save some bucks on refilling your lighter yourself. And uh, most of them, they come out from that you are using stored gas in some other format than what you have in your lighter when you get it. So for example, you have these camping gas bottles. This is one from Germany, another one from the US, MSR. But the question is, how can we get this gas that you have down here into the lighter? Well, in most cases, what you need is an adapter. And here's one adapter from the company Soto. You can find several of these adapters on the internet, on Alibaba or on eBay. I'll show you what it looks like. It's about $10 for an adapter like this. And this one has a folding mechanism that folds back like this. It's just to protect the tap here. Because this is the nozzle that you will use to fill your lighter in this little hole over here. So it fits perfectly over there. And on the other side, if you're looking inside this little adapter, you have a poking mechanism or a stick out, which actually goes perfectly into this little unit over here. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna take the MSR bottle and then I will screw it on here you see it's very simple all you need to do is to screw it onto this thread it's a universal size you have here so there we go it's firmly screwed on now I can twist this over like this I can take the lighter and we know we have our inlet over here and this is the hole it's a one-way bulb you can see through the lighter and actually Notice that there's nothing left in it. So we're going to fill it up. And we do that by taking the canister. We set it to the hole right there. And now you want to turn the canister upside down so the gas can flow into the lighter. Now, depending on how full your lighter or your canister is, you may want to need to turn it all the way upside down like this. But in this case, it's reasonably full, so I'm just going to turn it halfway so that you can see the gas flowing into the lighter. So here we go. Now I just push. That was the first push. And you can already now see that I almost filled half of it. We do another one. Now it's almost full. The reason why we do it in turns is because every time we release the pressure, it will let out the air that was inside the lighter from the beginning. One more push now. And that's it. At this point, your lighter is full. And if you're looking at other lighters that you find in your store, they are always at about 75% level, never more. So now we can test the lighter. Now we have a good flame coming off this lighter. Well, that's all for this. Thanks for watching. Next time I will show you how you can fill your lighter from a different source, the regular canisters, not the camping stove canisters. Cheers.